Hello guys, this is Umesh Mani. Welcome to my channel, An Engineer's Guide. So guys, in this session, we will learn how to find an allowable stress values from ASME Section 2, Part D. So guys, before moving forward, please subscribe to my channel, which will be free for you, but will help me much and motivates me to make a such a useful videos for you. So guys, to find an allowable stress value, you must have some inputs with you. So the inputs are, first you should know the material of construction. So here I am considering the SA516 grade 70, which is most widely used material in pressure vessel and heat exchanger industries. Second is the design temperature. So here I am considering a design temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. Third is a which ASME code you are going to use for your design. So here I am considering a ASME section 8 division 1. Now go to page number 20 of ASME BPVC section 2 part D edition 2021. So guys, that page number may vary as per edition of ASME. So please refer 2021 version. So you will better understand it. So on page number 20, you will find a table 1A. There are multiple tables in ASME section 2 part D such as table 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 2, 3. So that A represents a ferrous material and B represents a non-ferrous material. So let's see the scope of table 1A. So table 1A is applicable for section 1, section 3, division 1, classes 2 and 3. Section 8, Division 1 and Section 12. So that Table 1A will give you maximum allowable stress values for various material. Now, in Table 1A, you will see the structure of Table 1A like this, so which contains line number, nominal composition, product form, specification number, type or grade, allowed designation or UNS number, class, condition, temper, size, thickness, mm, P number and group number. So our material SA516 grade 70 is on line number 45. Nominal composition is carbon steel, product form is plate, specification number is SA516 grade is 70 and its UNS number is K02700. So guys remember that line number 45. Now go to page number 22 of ASME BPVC section 2 part D 2021. So on line number 22, you will find a maximum allowable stress values whose unit is in MPA. If you want to convert those in KPA, you have to multiply it with 1000 for the metal temperature. So in this row, you can see that Temperature range which is 40, 65, 100, 125, 150, 200, 250, etc. And on line number 45, you can see your allowable state that 138, 138, 138, 138, and so on. These are your allowable stress. You can see some allowable stress values which are 
101, 83.8, 67.1, 51, which are italic, which are written in italic, which represent that material under creep zone above the temperature 400 degrees. So now our design temperature is 300 degrees Celsius. So just check across 300 degrees Celsius, the allowable stress value is 136. So guys, this is how we can find our allowable stress values. So guys, if your temperature range is something in between 300 to 325 and like your temperature is 310, so you can have an interpolation of values between interpolation between 300 and 325 degrees celsius so if you don't know how to take the interpolation you can find a video for interpolation calculation in my description so hope guys you get some value from this video so please share with with your friends Thank you.